Hey folks, it's Michael Collins from EnviroReporter.com on August 31st, 2011. We're looking at green tea from Japan, Lemon Sencha Matcha Iri Green Tea. As we all know, Japan's famous for its tea, but it's been finding radiation in it. And so this tea was brought to us by our graph artist for EnviroReporter.com's radiation station, Dale Ramacone, and he wanted us to uh, test this, so we are very glad that he brought this to us. So we're going to take a 10 minute test using our inspector. 100% calibrated. 10 minute test. Now we've taken a background in here previously and for folks that have looked at our other videos of testing other media for Fukushima Daiichi multiple meltdown fallout, you know that we have a background of uh, radiation that's occurring through uh, radiation emanating from the cosmos traveling billions of miles and coming to Earth, radiation emanating from the Earth through radium and uranium and uh, you find out what the so-called normal amount of radiation is wherever you're at and if you have something you suspect could possibly be impacted by radiation you uh, then measure it and subtract the background radiation if you have a, a number greater than the background radiation. Now why we care is because if we do get such a number from this uh, green tea, a number that is 15% higher than uh, the, uh, the plus or minus 15% is higher than the actual reading, make, uh, with the 15% plus or minus is the inspector's uh, margin of error. It would give us a good idea of uh, whether this material has been impacted by fallout in Japan. Japan's famous for its green tea. In 2009, it exported 95,000 tons of dried tea. 42% from a prefecture called Shizuoka where in early June this uh, prefecture was found to have contaminated green tea. That's the first time they had found that in this prefecture which is their number one producing area for green tea. At least four prefectures have been impacted by fallout from Fukushima. The reason we're testing this is because you can get this here in America. You can buy it here in Southern California at, at most of the 43 groceries and uh, markets that are Japanese, uh, run by uh, Japanese Americans specialize in Japanese products. You could also get these products that we've been testing at many of the at least 885 Japanese restaurants that are in Southern California. You can see we have the tea down in that glass mason jar lid. Well, of course, we've tested that lid to make sure there's no radiation in it. And what you see underneath is a uh, Japanese uh, uh, language uh, publication that is just uh, open to sort of serve as a, as a uh, covering 
to our our step tool here that we're using as a platform. To be more clear on the so-called margin of error that International Medcom, the manufacturers of the Inspector Alert nuclear radiation monitor, that plus or minus 15% means that when you get a reading, it could be 15% more, up to 15% more, or up to 15% less. So when you take that into account, you have to take that into account when comparing the number that you get here with the background. In other videos I've misspoke and made it sound that the equation here doesn't quite work that way uh, with the margin of error. Actually it uh, has made me ignore uh, some readings that have been less than 15 percent over background uh, the established background uh, when actually that's not how it should be uh, uh, machinated, the mathematics of it. Well, I can already tell you folks, we're way past the background. We're way past the margin of error. This T is radiating over the background here in Radiation Station right now. And in a significant amount.
that means the 10 minute average is over. You'll still hear it clicking and the light flashing because it is still detecting. But the averaging is over. So what we do is we uh, look at that number, 591, divided by 10, you get 59.1 counts per minute. Minus the background. of 35.8 counts per minute. I'm doing the math here, so bear with me. And it comes to 39.4% over normal, almost 40% over normal. This is almost the same number as the Adelaide, which was 39.1% over normal, which is another, uh, uh, it's a wild uh, grass grain that's steeped and made into a drink. Both about 39% over normal. Of course we'll be keeping this sample. We'll see if we can arrange to have someone like Arnie Gunderson maybe uh, run a spectral analysis on it and tell us exactly what's in it. But uh, we can kind of uh, figure this one out. This uh, green tea is made in Japan. Uh, came to America. It's being sold in America and it seems to have been impacted by uh, fallout from the uh, Fukushima Daiichi triple nuclear meltdowns. Uh, there's no other explanation that would be more logical than that one.